Here's a hill that I'm willing to die on. The changes that we make in life often come from a place of positive intentions for our own benefit, but the truth is we'll never know the impact of those actions until we take the first step. Hi, my name is Cash and welcome to my YouTube channel. If any of this resonates with you, feel free to like and subscribe, stick around and help us grow the community. Our thoughts and our ideas can leave us stuck in this place of what if and maybe, but it's the decisive action that allows us to live out that reality. So is there anything to fear? Maybe, possibly, but I believe it's better for us to conquer those fears than the alternative, which is living a life and reflecting back on all the opportunities that we missed out on. Once again, circling back to the what if and maybe I should have. Life, in my opinion, is solely all about the experience. What growth can we achieve by playing it safe, by being reserved, by being reluctant to express the best version of ourself? Right now in this moment, do you believe there's anything to gain when you know you have more to offer? Something that I always think about and reflect on is that discomfort is a reminder of letting us know we are not where we need to be. That on the other side of what we're seeking for is change and opportunity for the betterment of society and the community that we're a part of. It's within these moments of irritation that drives us to seek out what's more, what's better. How can we contribute to a better society? However, in the midst of all the chaos, the question is, are you willing to give more to see the change and have the impact on the society that you're a part of? So this isn't solely about trying harder. This is a deep dive into our character development to figure out where is our willpower, to figure out when life doesn't go our way, are we willing to try just one more time? Sometimes I reflect on statements that my father would say, if you get knocked down 10 times, are you willing to stand up 11? These moments allow us to see a window within our mind, our body, and our soul to see when things don't go our way, do we have the persistence and the commitment to just try one more time? Can you get 1% better? Can you give me that same effort tomorrow? This is the reality of what we need to see in society. One thing that I learned from life, and I think it started from studying film and basketball, is that the coaches would make the athletes and the players realize you learn more about yourself through the losses than the wins. You celebrate the wins. However, the road that you really appreciate is the journey that leads to the win. Because once you climb to the highest point of victory, there's another mountain to climb. And that's inevitable. And that's always going to be something that remains constant in life. Is that the work doesn't end once you've completed a task. There's always another task to complete. So remember, we learn more from our hardships and difficulties, more so than anything else. So the part of the journey you should appreciate is where your foot lands next. I believe it's only natural that our hearts desire the path of least resistance. However, it's our character that gets developed through the hardships, through the trials, through the tribulations. And through that, that's where the magic begins, where the growth opportunities have the chance of being explored furthermore. So I simply want to pause right here and just ask this question, really take some time to let this sink in. When you hit the lowest of your lows, when you feel like there's no way life can push me down any further, do you see yourself being able to get back up and try one more time to withstand the onslaught of difficulties and challenges? Because no one said life would be easy and that this road wouldn't have any challenges or obstacles. Because in the moment where we throw in the towel and feel like this is when I quit, on the other side of that could have been the true moment that breaks through where you hear that yes, where you see the opportunity is presented to you. So can you just get up one more time 
and take on the task ahead. Because you never know the day you decide to quit could have been the opportunity where that door opens up for you. Inequalities are inevitable. And it's up to us to decide how are we going to live amongst this? Because it's not going anywhere. I think we all see the inequalities of life no matter what lens you decide to look at it in. This is society and it's always been that way. But just remember, through the discomfort and through the injustice has sparked some of the greatest leaders, has sparked some of the greatest changes. So don't look at the discomfort and the injustice as negatives because it has provided us with such impactful people in society that has inspired generations. And where we are currently in society is where we have the opportunity now for new leaders to rise. This is where we are in life right now. So whoever's in your household or community that you see the potential skill sets that could be the next great American or the great human in society to uplift us, that's things we have to nurture. And we have to pour life onto those individuals. So with everything that's been stated today, it's up to us to implement this, not only within our lives, but the people that we have influence upon. Instead of looking for change in the world, it's up to us to become the change. Remember, the impact and the impressions that we leave amongst each other, that's what inspires the change. By us leading by example, by those who look up to us, who see our daily actions from afar, Noticing our characteristics and admiration, that's what inspires the change. So in the moment where you're being tested to get out of character, always remember that there's someone near and far that's noticing. And it's how you act and react in these moments that defines your character, that defines who you are, but also defines who they believe you to be. Because one thing that would always remain true is that perception is reality. And how we perceive you interacting is the reality that has been confirmed within our own mindset. I want to thank you all for watching today's video. My name is Cash. I hope you know it's been real. I hope you can feel the energy. And I just appreciate you guys for being here. Honestly, if you really resonate with what's being stated today, definitely share this video with someone you believe that aligns with the content that's being discussed today um, feel free to like and subscribe if you know you want to hang out and see other videos um, and you know at the end of the day i just want to leave you guys with good vibes good energy and just know that it's up to us to be the change that we want to see in the world so let's build a community let's continue to thrive i'll see you in the next one nos vemos ciao